Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday to you, and welcome to Karen's Kitchen. I found a mayonnaise recipe for for avocado, avocado mayonnaise, which I've never made before. I've made other mayonnaise, but avocado mayonnaise ought to be ought to be really good. And I'm going to uh, be mixing it with my my immersion blender. Um, thank you for coming in and sharing this out. Let me go ahead and share it out and ask for a share. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. There's my daughter. Yes, you did, Sharon. Happy Friday to everybody. Let me go ahead and, and there's Erlene and Darlinda. Let me go ahead and share this out and then I'm going to ask for a share. Um, and I, I appreciate you all taking the time to share this out because there's a lot of people out there that don't have Periscope and they might want to see this, you know, because I come in here to, show, to help others. And I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and ask for a share. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to put my put my off my put my tripod down. I'm going to face it put it all the way down quite a ways so you can see. All right. Now you can see I've got a I had to go through several avocados before I found one that was even any good. So, um I found found one that's really ripe. Um but it's nice and good. This takes one avocado and I just take I just take a spoon and I go around the like that and just get it right on out try to get all this off the you don't want to waste any of it try to scrape this out of the peeling as best you can and i've already had my lunch so this will be this will be eaten uh, sometime this next week i won't be home tomorrow to eat it because i'm staying for potluck at church so i won't be home but i may eat some on sunday maybe It's real easy just to scoop this out of here like this. That's the easiest way to get get it out of the get it out of the peeling. Okay, let me go ahead and throw this away. Okay, chewy wanted out, so I'm gonna throw this away. Okay, now, the only thing I'm not putting in here is the apple cider vinegar. I don't care for the taste of it, so I'm leaving that out. Um, it calls for two tablespoons of that and three tablespoons of lemon juice. I could probably put a little bit more lemon juice in, being that I'm not putting apple cider vinegar in. Um, uh, oh, yeah, they do. Uh, they turn brown. That's why you got to keep, this will be happy kept in the refrigerator. It'll have to be kept in the refrigerator because it does turn brown. If it's sit out at all, anything you make with avocados and you leave it sit out, it's going to turn brown. So uh, that's just what they do. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put three in there for now. I don't want to. I don't want to get it too overpowering. And then a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Then let me see what else I have here. Um, two tablespoons of oil, avocado oil or, or olive oil. I thought I was going to use avocado oil since that's what I have here. Since this is an avocado mayonnaise, I thought I would use avocado oil. And it says it takes, what, two tablespoons? Yeah. Okay. And this... Avocado oil has quite different taste than your olive oil has, of course. Let me go ahead and put this back. And that was organic and 100% pure olive oil, too. Okay, and then a quarter cup of water. I have that measured out right here. This is actually supposed to go in a mason jar. I don't have one right now, so I'm going to have to put it in another container for right now. After I, immer after I use the immersion blender on it and then find another can, uh, glass container to put it in the refrigerator. Um, and a quarter cup to a, or a quarter teaspoon to a half a teaspoon of salt. 
Boy, can you imagine putting a hat, <laughs> a tea, uh, hat, a cup of salt in here? Whoa, that'd be a little bit much, I think. <laughs> Just a little bit. Everybody knows I use sea salt. Here, get the thing. There we go. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take my immersion blender. Let me let me go ahead and close these up first before I, I uh, end up tipping these over. Okay, I'll put these back real quick. All right, there we go. Now. tried to tell me how to use this. I guess I was using it wrong the other day. She said you're supposed to go up and down with it. So I'm going to make this, change the setting on this. Just Okay, I think I can. There's another setting on it. Let me check. I don't know if I can or not. There we go. All right. Well, that makes a difference. Well, it's going to be green mayonnaise, as you can see. It's green mayonnaise. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. It doesn't take long to, to uh, mix it up. Pull this off. Put it in the sink. Okay. Now, here is the... Oh, does it? I don't even know what that is, but look, there it is. Avocado mayo. I'm going to go ahead and pull this back just a little. Let me go ahead and get a, a spoon. Put this in here now. And I'm going to go ahead and test it. I'm going to taste and see what it tastes like. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Mmm. That's a... It is, and the lemon juice gives it that tangy thing that you really need in there. This is avocado mayo, and because it has to be in the refrigerator because it will turn brown. Um, oh, <laughs> I have a, I have bad luck like 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 uh, Alexis does uh, with them turning brown on before she uses them. Um, <laughs> so I'm hoping that this won't turn brown on me. You're right. Let me get a. I'm going to get a, a glass container and put it in. I, I think I got a small enough one. So I'm going to make about a cup. Let me find a small container. Yeah, the, it should fit in here. It's supposed to be in a mason jar, but since I don't have one, I'll use the next best thing. As long as I got a glass container with a lid on it, I don't think it's really going to matter much. Put the pit in the bowl. What does that do? Does that keep it from turning brown? Well, I already tossed it out, but I think it's on the top of my garbage. Is it? Does that keep it from turning brown? Oh, really? Oh, okay. All right. Rinse it off. I think it. Ah, uh, well, I can't find the pit right now. You know, I didn't know. I shouldn't have thrown it away, I suppose. So I can't find one. I don't. Yeah. Hopefully, this won't turn brown on me. If it starts to, I can, you know. But anyway. Yeah, I know. It's try. 
I don't, I can't, I threw my pit away, so I can't, I, I, I don't know where it's at in the, in the trash, and I don't want to dig it out. Um, so, <laughs> does it really, is there anything else besides the pit that would work to keep it from turning brown? If I'd have known that, I wouldn't have thrown the pit away. I did not know that. And I can't find it in the trash, or else I would, let me go back and see if I can find it, but I don't think I can. I don't think I'm going to have any success. Probably went clear to the bottom. Wait a minute. I got one. I got one here that's real bad. I'm going to cut this and open and get the pit out. Use this one. If I can get it open. Because this is no good. So I'll just use the pit in here. If there's still a pit in here. Yeah, there is. All right. Okay, this will work. Just take an old avocado that is that has gone bad and uh, use the pit, take the pit out. It's not an easy thing to get out either. There I go. There, okay. I'm going to go ahead and wash this off. I got the pit out of one of the other ones and I'll use this. Oh, you are. <laughs> There. I'll just take the pit out of another olive bottle. Yeah, there you go. And just drop it in there. Will that keep it from turning brown? I happened to happen to find that avocado in there that I, I tossed it out because it was I forgot and it had gone it froze on me. <laughs> but the pit is still okay, so I just put the pit in there. But doesn't this look good? Yeah, look at that. Maybe it won't turn black turn brown now, because you know how avocados can can uh, turn everything brown but this would be real good on salad it's also good on sandwiches um i love um mayonnaise that you can make yourself it there yeah there, there's what it looks like doesn't that look nice i'm not going to do anything about it today because i've already had my lunch but there i've and i'm glad you guys are in here that you told me about the pit i never thought about that See, we're kind of working together and you're helping me out because I had no right way of knowing that the pit is like, gives it like it's a manna for it and it keeps it from turning brown. I know that. Now I won't throw it away. Oh, no, that's true. I don't, I don't eat eggs either. Oh, yes, I will. I'm going to photograph this for, for Facebook, for my Facebook page. Definitely going to photograph it because it's very, very pretty, isn't it? Really pretty. Yeah, it probably it probably would be good on potatoes, potatoes too. You're probably right. Um, like I said, it's salads, um, sandwiches. You're probably right. Oh, thanks, Erlene. You're probably right. Now that I know that the pits keep the avocado from turning brown, I won't throw them away. Thank you. Thank you. I think it looks good too. Um, yeah. Be good on toast as well. But you know the mayonnaise out there, it's it's got your vinegar in it, it's got your eggs in it. It's hard to find mayonnaise that <laughs> every time somebody goes in into my periscope, they get hungry. I get hungry of my own periscopes too. But you know, it's so hard to find a mayonnaise where it doesn't doesn't have vinegar in it or doesn't have eggs. Very hard. Even your vegan mayo, you gotta be real careful. It has vinegar in it, but no eggs. I get the I get the no egg mayo, but it still has a little bit of vinegar in it. Um, I'd rather make my own where I, where I can put anything in it I want. Now, I didn't put the apple cider vinegar in here, but I did put the, put, put the uh, lemon juice. But it does taste really good. And you want that tangy, uh, anyway, mayonnaise is not supposed to be sweet. You want the little bit of tang to it, anyway. But it looks real good. Yeah, that's true. Yes, yes, it could be used as a dip as well. I would, I would, I would say, yeah, it could. But I like the green color. That is a pretty, look at that green. Isn't that a pretty green? That's a very pretty green. It's it's gorgeous. Um, yeah, I do too. I really love the I love the fact that I can I can find a recipe that's simple to make and I can do it myself. And I say, yeah, I can make this and I can use this. Um, thank you so much. I know it does look good. It does taste good too. Where you can make your own 
mayonnaise and not have to worry about eggs and vinegar. Hi, Denise. Good to see you. Here's my um, avocado mayo. I put the pit in here to kind of keep it from, from turning brown. People suggested that, so put a pit in here. Um, it's, not, sir, it's not the pit that come with the avocado. I happened to find one that I threw out that, that wasn't any good. So, I, yeah, it is. There, I mean, you can use this for a, a myriad of things, you know, unlimited, you know, put it on potatoes. Um, oh, yeah, you don't need fancy. Well, they just called for an immersion blender, so I just, I just used that. Works real simple. Um, it does. It does. It's supposed to be in a mason jar. I don't happen to have any. And I wasn't about to go to the store and get one. I thought, oh, I'll just put it in here. As long as I keep it and put it in a glass container and put a lid on it, I think it should be so sufficient. I'll keep this pit in here so it doesn't turn brown. Because it can even turn brown in the refrigerator. And I've, I've seen it do that. Um, I guess uh, uh, salads, if you use avocado and salads, put the pit in there to kind of keep it from turning brown. I don't know why they do that, but they just love to turn brown. I've had that so much. And the problem, and, and Alexis has found it. Avocado spoil on her before she even gets to me. There's Alexis. I didn't see you in Alexis. Did you see my my mail? Here's my avocado mail. Doesn't look good. I put the pit in here to keep it from turning brown. Um, it's very simple to make. I'll tell you what I what I used. I had one avocado, and uh, I didn't use the apple cider vinegar though. Those that use the apple cider vinegar can put this in there. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, three tablespoons of uh, lemon juice. A half a teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder. And I, then I use two tablespoons of avocado oil. Yes, it is. And I use two tablespoons of avocado oil versus um, your olive oil. A quarter cup of water and a four to a half a teaspoon of salt to taste. That's all it has in it. Very simple. Oh, thank you. You too. Very simple. Very easy to make. Um, I like making my own mayonnaise. Because I know what's in it that way. That's why Alexis makes her own foods too. Because you, you know what's in it. You're not guessing. You know, it's always better to make your own than buy process. Because there's so much that goes into processing foods anymore. The stuff that goes in there. And it, it makes your hair, cur hair curl, you know. <laughs> um, oh, does it too? Oh. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Lime juice. So see, there you guys are helping me out. Well, I think this pit's going to help too. I didn't realize that. But you know, that's awesome that you guys are here to help me out because um, it's always turning on brown, brown on. And I wanted to leave it sit here while I'm out here. And now with this pit in here, it won't turn brown. Of course, it'll go in the refrigerator right when I get off of the scope. I'll take a picture of it for my vegan Facebook page and then put it in the refrigerator. But this would be good on sandwiches. Like somebody said, potatoes maybe. Um, you can use it for tortilla chips, dipping um, salad. Anything you want to use this avocado mayo for, you can make, you can use it. Um, I've always been trying to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> However, yeah, the fritters. Um, <laughs> I, the, the fritters I made yesterday, I just didn't like them. I don't know. Erlene said they were good for her, but I just didn't care for them. I ate one and I just couldn't eat anymore. That was, I just didn't care for them. So I won't make them again. Um. <laughs> but not for vegans. You're right. You're right. Uh, and I know Erlene Doug wouldn't get upset at me because I don't like it. Because the things just don't... Things... Yeah, I didn't care for it, Erlene. It just didn't taste good to me. Um, so, you know, I at least I tried. At least I tried. And I'm going to get get your meatloaf made one of these days. Your vegan meatloaf. I definitely want to try that and make that. But uh, you make... Uh, yeah, it is weird. It's kind of hard um, to get... Uh, burgers tasting good when it's got chickpeas in them. I don't particularly care for chickpeas in burgers, nor do I care for uh, uh, black beans in burgers. So, <laughs> Oh, probably, probably. Well, I'm not Mexican, so I wouldn't know what they put it on, but this would be good for anything that you choose to. And I've got a lot of tortilla chips. You could dip it in that. Like I said, your salads, um, anything that you want to put it in. Um, so I'm always looking for a good meal. I never can find one in the store that doesn't have your uh, mayonnaise in it, or <laughs> mayonnaise, doesn't have your egg and doesn't have your vinegar in it. They all seem to have it in there. Um, yeah, you're right. Tacos. Well, I don't eat fish, but tacos, yes, it would be very good on tacos. Yes. Um, you can put uh, vegan sour cream on tacos. You can put this on tacos. But what, what makes this stand out is it's such a pretty green color. 
Avocados are such a pretty green anyway, and it come out so nice. I mean, it come out nice and smooth using that immersion blender. Doesn't look at that how smooth it came out. It's supposed to make about a cup of, of mayo, and I think it may, may might have made a little bit more than that. But this is just an ideal container to keep it in, put in the refrigerator, and use it as I need it. I'll probably you know dip tortilla chips in it. I'll make a salad and and uh, use that for salads. Hi, Rick's. Good to see you. <clears throat> You've seen um, olive oil mayo, yeah, I have too. But I think you start looking at the uh, you start looking at the rest of the ingredients. I they it still has vinegar in it, and I think they put eggs in it too. So hi, good to see you. Welcome. Here's my my avocado mayo. That's only got just a few ingredients in it, and I will I, those are just coming in, Rick's and those just coming in. I will tell you what it has in it. One avocado, of course, with the pit out. And I put this pit in here because people recommend it. If you put the pit in it, that'll keep it from turning brown. So, yes, and I use my immersion blender um, to mix it up. Um, two tablespoons, I've called for two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I didn't use that because I don't care for the taste of it. But I did use the three tablespoons of lemon juice uh, and a half a teaspoon of your garlic powder and your onion powder. Um, and I put two tablespoons of olive oil in here. You could use olive oil or um, your... EBO, your extra virgin, olive, or, or you can av avocado oil, olive, olive oil. I use av avocado oil, and I meant to say instead of EBO. And then a quarter cup of water, and then a quarter to a one half teaspoon of salt. That's all that's in here. I mixed it with my immersion blender, and it came out nice and smooth. Very, very smooth. Looks almost good enough to go into a magazine. That's what somebody was saying. It's almost good enough to go into a magazine. It's very colorful, very pretty. That green color. It's really a pretty green. Avocados are pretty green anyway, you know, and I knew it wouldn't be a white male because, uh, well, I knew it wouldn't be a white male because of the avocado. But if you like avocados, there are many uses for the avocado. Avocados are, are good, but I'm like Alexis. If I don't get them used up fast enough, they go bad on me. I had a couple of them I had to throw out because they went bad on me. I happened to find... Find a couple I just bought the other day that I had in a different part of the refrigerator, but where, where the you know in the egg keeper, which I don't put eggs in there, but I put them up there and it turned out perfect. So I keep them up there. But they, if I don't get them used up right away, they they go belly up up on me too. Hi, Team Jeff and Jackie. There's my here's my avocado avocado mayo. Doesn't that look pretty? And I just used my my immersion blender to mix it. Didn't use my Vitamix or anything. Just used the immersion blender. It works so well to mix it up really fast. Made it nice and smooth, and it tastes good, too. It's got the lemon juice in it. gives you that little tang that you need in there, you know, because mayo itself is not real sweet anyway. It's, it's on the tangy side. So, anyway, how's everybody's weather doing today? Uh, we're not raining today, but we're on the cool side, so I had to let my heat run for a little while to warm the house up. Now, I've turned it off. Um, we're not going to be in the 70s until next week. Probably by Wednesday, Thursday, I think we'll get back in the 70s again. So we've been in the 60s the last few days. Barely get 60 degrees. So it doesn't, it's, it's getting cool at night. It's getting probably about 48 at night or something. 87, wow, my daughter's got 87, wow. 72 in L.A. Yeah, well, you're warmer in L.A. than we are here. <laughs> I'm in Oregon and we're cold here. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Yep, here I am. Here's my... Here's my avocado mayo. Isn't that pretty? Very, very pretty. Um, very simple to make. But our weather is so crazy lately. Um, yeah, supposed to get. Uh, we're, yeah, we're supposed to get rain off and on. And uh, like I said, this time of year, it very seldom ever rains. It'll stop in May, and we won't get rain until October. But I'm very surprised that we've gotten rain for the last several days. So I haven't had to water my grass. Now, that being said, I don't expect that to last long because it's probably going to shut off like it always does, turn the faucet off, and if I can't turn the faucet back on, and I'll have to water my grass again. Come July, it's really getting hotter than blazes here, and the and sun will be shining every day, and I'll have to water it then. But right now, I don't have to water it. I have to keep a, I'll have to keep it mowed, of course, because the rain makes it grow quite a bit. But I planted grass seed, and I wanted it to come up, and it's finally starting to come up. It took a while, you know, but... Finally, but the weather has been so crazy lately, so crazy. 
Like I told you before, I don't do good in heat. You know, 90, 95. We've, had, we've been known to have 90, 95, 100 degree weather. I don't do good in that at all. It's just, that is just too hot for me. So this weather we're having right now gets 59, 60 degrees. It's actually really pleasant. It's not really that bad. But I know it's not going to stay that way because it's going to get warm. It's going to get hot and it's going to be sunny and no rain. And, and I'm not looking forward to not getting any rain, but I know that's exactly what's going to happen. We're not going to get the rain when we need it. You know, that a lot of places get My daughter, she lives in Missouri. She gets rain all summer long. Man, when we lived in Indiana, we did too. We got rain all summer long because it, it, certain, certain parts of the United States seem to always get the rain. And the other parts of the United States sit there dry as a bone. I wish that we got more rain than we do, but I am just thankful we got rain now to get us started on, on our, our, you know, anybody's planted a garden or planted flowers. You know, I've got to go out and water my tomato plant. I've got a, a patio tomato that I have to go out and water, and I have to keep uh, water it every few days. I just take a, a pot, about a two-quart pot out there, and just dump water into it. And, and uh, thunderstorms, well, we don't get... Yeah, you get thunderstorms there. We very seldom ever get thunderstorms here. When it starts thundering and lightning here, it's really strange because we just don't get it here. We'll get rain without the thunder or the lightning. Um, yeah, I know. you get a, Yep, we did when we were in Indiana too. Remember, we got a lot of thunderstorms in Indiana and cracking and, and uh, just as loud as it can be. And, and uh, I know when I was younger, I didn't care for the, for the thunder and the lightning. It scared me when I was a little kid. Of course, as you get older, it... You know, it's not so bad, but I don't, I, I just rather it would be a happy medium and rain when we need it. And if we, and when we get too much rain, stop for a little bit and to let it dry down for a little while and then come back and rain some more. Hi, Nikki. Good to see you. But the thing, problem of it is it shuts off like a faucet and it won't start back up again. It won't, it won't rain until October, November. <laughs> Okay, you too, and, and have, have a happy Sabbath. Hi, good to see you, Honor. Here's my avocado mayo. Doesn't that look good? And I put the pit in there to kind of keep it from turning brown. That is a real pretty color, because avocados are pretty anyway. It's hard to find out, and I'm like Alexis. They don't get used up as fast as they should, and they, they um, you too. And they end up turning brown so fast. So I had to throw a couple of them out that were brown, but I found one that was really good. Because you can't use them like that, you know. Um, they're hard to pick or hard to find the right. You know, either you get them all. When I buy them at Walmart, I try to get them um, sometimes grass green, so that way they'll take a little longer to ripen up. But if you start, get, if you get them already starting to ripen up, you got to use them pretty doggone fast because they just don't last very long. And I'm sure Alexis has probably found that out too that they'll they'll just start going to pot on you, you know, <laughs> so fast. So I try to get them. Um, green so that, that I can uh, sit them out or put them in the refrigerator and let them ripen up there and then get them used up. Try to find recipes with them. Now I've got this avocado mayo recipe. I'll use the avocado avocados quite a bit because I love avocados. They're a very good flavor. I know a lot of people probably don't like them, but they're really good for you. Um, they're really, really good. Um, so if you can uh, make your own, try to make your own. Find a Find a recipe that you like like Alexis does, and try and try to make your own foods. Save all that processing. Make it your own. Tweak it, whatever you have to do. I tweaked it and left the uh, um, apple cider vinegar off, but somebody else makes this. They might want to put the apple cider vinegar in there, which is just fine. Um, but you tweak it to your liking, because we don't all like the same things. You know, um, everybody's taste buds are a little bit different. I might like something that you don't, and then you like something that I don't. Now, I know Alexis would use apple cider vinegar, and that's fine. She could put that in here. It's two tablespoons plus three tablespoons of lemon juice. That really makes it tangy. I could have added more lemon juice, but I thought, well, three tablespoons, that's quite a bit. And it's got quite a bit of real good flavor to it. Um, but I enjoy coming in here and, and uh, making... Hi, Becca. Good to see you. Here's my um, avocado mayonnaise. Doesn't it look good? It's got... Just a few simple ingredients. One avocado for one thing. Um, and I did put the apple cider vinegar in there, but I did put lemon juice in there. Three tablespoons of lemon juice. Um, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder. 
two tablespoons of avocado oil. I use that in lieu of olive oil. You can use either one. I used um, um, avocado oil. A quarter cup of water and then um, one fourth to one half teaspoon of your salt. Everybody knows I use sea salt. Hi, team. It's good to see you. Welcome. You can see, every, if I hold it up close, you can see there's my avocado mayonnaise. Put it mixed with my immersion blender. I have a uh, KitchenAid immersion blender and I mix it up with the immersion blender. It made it real soft. I put the pit in here because people told me on here, if you put a pit in here, it'll keep it from turning brown. So that's what I did. I put the pit in here to keep it from turning brown because we know how avocados turn brown real fast because I want, while I'm doing this periscope, I don't want to have to put it away. I want people to see it. Yeah. I thought that was a good idea too, but so now I know from now on, if I'm going to make something with avocado, save the pit so I can use it and keep it from turning brown. This, you know, this would be good on salads as a good salad dressing. Um, could use it for a dip for tortilla chips or what, I suppose. You could put it on a, t a potato, maybe. Um, that's what everybody keeps telling me. I know. I wouldn't even know where to begin on it, to tell you the truth. I really wouldn't know. I've never even attempted it. Um, I, I know it's a good idea, but the thing of it is, I'm, I'm, getting the, I'm getting the ideas off of Pinterest and stuff, so they're actually not my own recipe, so I don't know how that would work. I am tweaking them a little bit, though, because I'm making them my own because I'm leaving things out that I don't want to use. Um, so I guess, I, I guess in a way they're making making because anything that calls for, like, for apple cider vinegar, shiitake, or creamy mushrooms, I leave those out and make it my own. So I guess you could say this is my own recipe because I left the apple cider vinegar out and put everything else in here that it calls for. It's got a real good flavor. I like the green color. That's what's so awesome. That green color is amazing. Isn't that a beautiful color? It's absolutely gorgeous. Very pretty green. Um, that's avocados. They're, they're, very, they're hard to find good ripe ones. I had some in the refrigerator I had to get rid of because I, they looked good to me, but as I started cutting into them, they were all brown on the inside. I said, ooh, I can't use these. And that's what they get. They get brown on the inside of their, if you're, so I, I found one, fortunately for me, that, that is real good. I just bought it, just bought it, I think, the other day, and uh, it was real good yet, so I used it, and it made the avocado mayo look real good. Because you look at all the mayonnaise in the store, all of them have vinegar in it or they have eggs. Now, there is egg-free mayo, you know, the even olive oil mayo. Somebody mentioned the olive oil mayo. I looked at it the other day, and I believe it's got vinegar and eggs in it, too. You just can't get out of it. You know, I was I was thinking about getting olive oil mayo, and I thought, well, this may be all Katie. But then I started looking on the back of it, what it had in it, and I thought, nope. You know, it's it's horrible that you you have to make your own in order to get away from it. Because I don't eat eggs, and I don't want to eat anything that has eggs in it. But sometimes it's unavoidable. You'll you'll buy something that has a, eggs in it, and you really can't get away from it entirely. But if I can avoid it, if at all possible, I will. You know, I don't eat eggs directly. I may eat, be, be eating them indirectly from the mayo, but I'm not eating them directly. I'm trying to avoid that too. It's very <laughs> it's very hard to do. But that's where going to the when you go to the store. And taking things off the shelf, that's where looking at the ingredients comes in. Because if you don't check the ingredients out, you do not know what it has in it. Because it may have something in there that you don't want to put in your system, which most of them do. They have, they have manufacturers put all these real bad chemicals in there. They, they even sound bad. And I can't pronounce most of them. They've got an awful, you know, uh, awful lot of letters to them, and I can't pronounce them. Um... It is hard. It's very, very hard. That's why I thought if I could find a mayonnaise, when I saw this on Pinterest and it said avocado mayo, and I hadn't seen it before today, I said, well, I'm going to, I clicked on the picture, then I went to the recipe, and I thought, well, I'm going to make this. Um, I, yeah, you're right. And I thought, I'm going to make, make this because everything in here is vegan. I've got avocado oil in it. I've got an avocado in it. I've got sea salt in it, garlic powder, onion powder, which are organic, water. It's very good. Um, it, it'll make a real good salad dressing. It'll make a good dip, whatever you want to use it for. I mean, there's probably myriads of things you could use this for. But I like the color of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. The color is so pretty. Um, it's, it's a very pretty green. 
but you got to be careful when you pick your avocados up. Um, I try to get them as green as I can get them. Now, I have gotten them starting to get ripe already. But boy, when they're starting to get soft in the store, you know it's not going to take long in your refrigerator. And they're going to be so, so soft, you're not going to be able to use them. Um, yep, that's one, that's one reason why I made this. So I can make a salad. I won't be able to. I won't be home to make one tomorrow because I'm staying for potluck at church. So because we're having haystacks at church tomorrow, so I won't be able to make. The, but maybe Sunday I might. We're having a brunch in the morning, but in the afternoon I could probably uh, come home from the brunch after I, Brenda Walsh has her book signing and stuff. And come home and maybe make a salad then, um, and use this on on that because it'll make a real good salad. I mean, it could make that salad pretty, really pretty, you know. Put lettuce and tomato and radishes and. All kinds of stuff you can eat. I even like to put avocados in my salad. Avocados are real good in salad. Cucumbers, zucchinis, all of them are real good in salads. Um, oh, you were raised on them? We have them every once in a while at church. We don't have them all that much, but since since we're having Brenda Walsh, used to be on 3ABN, so she's coming tomorrow, and this is the only weekend that she had available we're going to have haystacks, and she's giving a talk to the ladies in the afternoon, and then a, a talk in the a, uh, afternoon on Sunday. We're having a brunch for the women's ministries. This is being put on by women's ministries, and uh, she's speaking at the church tomorrow. But I can't, I can't broadcast it. I thought I could, but my daughter-in-law told me that I won't be able to broadcast it because Brenda doesn't want any live streaming or any videos. So I can understand that it's a conflict of interest. So I won't be able to broadcast tomorrow, but just fine. I'll come in and broadcast Sunday if I can, but. Uh, I try to make my own stuff as much as possible because I know if I make it myself, I know what I have. I don't have to guess what the ingredients are. I just look on the look at my recipe and say, oh, yeah, these are the ingredients that I used. And I know that they're going to be good for me. I try to stick with healthy ingredients. You know, stick with healthy ingredients as much as possible, if you possibly can. There are some out there, they seem healthy, but they're not as healthy as they may seem. So you got to be really careful. Um, and like I said, anything I buy vegan, um, if I buy it in the store, it cannot have carrageenan in it. Now, my, my grandson's, uh, my daughter's oldest oldest boy, he's he's engaged to somebody that cannot have carrageenan. That's harmful to you anyway. Um, yes, yes, she was. She's coming to speak to our church tomorrow. Um, yes, she. this was the only Sabbath that she had available, Sabbath and Sunday that she has available. Um, she's flying in today and staying at one of the ladies at church that's staying in her house. Yes. Um, yeah. And I wanted to broadcast it so bad, but I can't. So you'll, you'll have to fore, I'll have to forego that. I, I, was, I wanted to let people see her, but I can't do it. But I can let you know on, on Sunday or Monday how good, how good it was. I mean, it's, yeah, I know she's going to be awesome to listen to, you know. Yeah, she was on 3ABN. Now she's at College Jail, Tennessee. She's starting her own ministry, Still for Children. Um, cause I think she had that one something like 20 years or something, a long time. And, uh, did you realize that she's scared to death of dogs? I did not know that. I was watching a YouTube video yesterday. Um, I was watching a YouTube video yesterday from the, uh, College Jail Community Church where she was giving the children's story. And she talked about Maxwell, the dog that they had, uh, gotten from the, uh, <clears throat> shelter. And she did not like, she scared, deathly scared of dogs. But uh, uh, Maxwell would always sleep during her kids' time and kids' time praise. Always be sleeping. He'd never lick her. He'd never bark or anything because she's deathly afraid. But he looked like a good, gentle dog because he's a, um, a, la a lab, I think. <clears throat> what? I can't, I have to go back and see what she said. No, she's not. She's on her own. Um. I'm not even watching 3ABN anymore because there been, there's been a lot of controversy going on. Um, think bad things were said about her by Danny Shelton plus a few others that uh, has really upset the apple cart. I don't know the gist of everything. I don't know. And I'm not going to ask her because it's none of my business. If she chooses to tell me, she will tell me. But it's there's been bad blood between her and 3ABN. So she's no longer on 3ABN. She's in College Jail, Tennessee. going to start... Her, her ministry there, yes. Uh, Danny Shelton has so much as gone on and called other churches where she was supposed to be have an engagement and called the churches up and told them not to have her as a as a guest speaker. 
I know it is sad, but he didn't. He wasn't able to do it with ours, you know. But that's not Christian out of him to call call these other places up that she's supposed to speak at and tell him not to have her because of what happened. And they listen to him like, like he's he's really important. Now I know he started three ABN, but that doesn't make him so special that that uh, he's not going to do anything wrong. Um, no, it's not. That's not. It's not. You know. Um, I know he may have started 3 ABN, but as far as that goes, I think he, he should stay out of it, you know. And I think it was mishandled. I think everybody, including Brenda, should have sat down with him and tried to talk things over. But, you know, it is what it is. But she's on her own now um, in College Jail, Tennessee, trying to get a trying to get a, a rent a place that so she can get the program started. So I'm happy for her on that that score, you know. And they are, they're holding her divorce against her, I guess. She just got divorced not too long ago and holding that against her. So it's pretty sad. But we're anxious to have her come tomorrow. When when I first found out she was coming, I thought, oh, man, I'm hoping I'm, I'm, huh, I'll be around for that, you know, because uh, I like to take my dogs and get groomed on Sundays. And I'm not going to do it this, this Sunday because of the women's ministries, the brunch, and the book signing afterwards because I want to I wanna be there for the book signing. Hey! I want to be there for the book signing. So, um but I'm gonna I'm gonna real anxious to hear her talk and, and see what she has to say. Um, but anyway, if you could make your own foods, um, yeah, she was barking at something outside. I don't know what she was barking at. Chewy's already out there. He's been barking, and she went out. Now she's out there barking now. But um, if you could make something yourself without getting something processed, that's the thing to do. Because everything you buy in the store is so processed. It may not seem like it, but look at the ingredients on the back and see how many chemicals that it has in it. Um, it's really a lot of chemicals. Way too many chemicals. You know, I'm thinking if you buy something in the store, and it's maybe only got mm, three, four, five ingredients in it, that isn't quite so bad. Hi, Linda. I wondered if you're going to make, make it. Oh. Yes, MSG too. Here is my... Avocado mayo, Linda. Doesn't it look good? Good to see you. Yeah, MSG. I try to buy a lot of things with um, um, M no MSG or the GMO, non-GMO. If I can't get it organic, I at least want to get it non-GMO. Yeah, I know you keep missing me. I was going to send you a send you a uh, uh, a text, but I forgot, Linda. Sorry about that. But you just have to go back and see how I made it. And I transferred it to this container. People on here told me to put it, put the pit in here to keep it from turning brown. Because it's kind of like a, you know, it's like the manna for it. It'll keep it from turning brown. So I had to find an avocado that was bad. And I just cut it open and took the pit out and used and put that in here. Washed the pit, rinsed it off and put it in here. As you can see, it's not turning brown. This is good on sandwiches. You know, I thought, you know, if you have a, meat sandwiches or whatever, those people that eat cold meat, or even veggie burgers or whatever, good on there, um, with le lettuce and tomato maybe, uh, good in a salad, good on potatoes, good for dipping with a tortilla chip, whatever you choose to use it for, you can go right ahead and use it because it's a real good flavor. The lemon juice gives it that kick that you really need. Um, I didn't put the apple cider vinegar in there because I don't care for the taste of it. I didn't use that. I called for two tablespoons. I left it out. But I put the three tablespoons of lemon juice in there. And it's a real good flavor. Very, very good. I know what's got in it. Nothing's going to harm me. Everything is good. A real, I mean, it's a pretty color. I mean, avocado's got a pretty green color. And it really, I mean, look at that. Didn't, and it, this, was, this was mixed with an immersion blender, too. My immersion blender I had, I mixed it up with that. Because that's what it told us to do. And it got it nice and creamy. Um... And I'm going to post this up on my vegan Facebook page so people can see it. I think it looks really good. It really, really does. Um, yeah, it is. It is nice and creamy. It really is nice and creamy. Now, I know a lot of people probably haven't, but there's a lot of things you can do with avocados, Linda. Uh, since you just came in, I'll tell you what this has in it, Linda. This has one avocado, of course, and I didn't put the apple cider vinegar, but if you want to make this, it takes two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, three tablespoons of lemon juice, um, 
a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. And I put two tablespoons of avocado oil in here over the EVO. I could have done either one. <coughs> and a quarter cup of water and a quarter, a half a teaspoon, quarter to a half a teaspoon of uh, <coughs> salt. Let me get some water real quick. <coughs> so I, that's, that's, so that's what I put in there. So it's real good. But it has a good flavor. It looks pretty. I mean, look at that. It's nice and creamy. The, the um, immersion blender did a real good job. <coughs> oh, you made vegan lasagna? That sounds awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, Erlene had posted a, a vegan meatloaf up on my um, vegan Facebook page that I want to try. And I want to make that for potluck some Sabbath. Um, like I said, we're having haystacks for church tomorrow, for potluck tomorrow, so I won't be having, um, be, because it's been provided for. We just had to put a little bit of fun, a little bit of money into the potluck fund, but, uh, it's being provided for tomorrow, so we don't have to bring anything, but, um, I, I love avocados. They are so good. They're good in salads, too. They're hard to get, um, to find good ones. I either get them too green which is okay because it takes take take it'll take them time to ripen up. But if you get them too dark and black, then they're ripen too quick. And I have, I like to uh, poke them at at the store to see now if they've got if they got an indentation in them, you know they're ripe. But I don't want to get them too awful ripe because they don't last long. Alexis has that problem too, or she says they don't last on her. They go bad on her before she has a chance to use them. I'm finding that too, so I'm trying to avoid buying too many at a time. Just enough for what I may need for a recipe or what have you. And then when I, I need some more, I go get them. Because, I mean, avocados are all year round. You can find them at Walmart all year round. Um, they're healthy. They're good for you. And I didn't know how good they were until I started eating them. I thought, oh, man, these are so good. They're, they're good just the way they are. Just take them out of the peeling. Don't put them in anything. Just eat them the way they are. Put them in, put them in a bowl and eat them. They're good that way, too. They're very, very good. I know a lot of people may not like avocados, but I don't think my son-in-law is going to like them. He doesn't like any vegetables except peas, so I don't think he would like them. But you never know. They've got a good flavor. What There's there's a lot of, most vegetables I can eat. Um, there are most fruits I can eat, too. The only thing, hi, Tammy, good to see you. Welcome. Here's my avocado mayonnaise. Look, it doesn't that look good? And it's staying green because I put the pit in here. Um. Oh, you used to eat them straight out of the peel? I wouldn't, I don't know about hot sauce. That'd be a little too hot for me. I'm not into hot stuff. I'm not into hot sauce. But, uh, yeah, it does it taste good too, Tammy. It really does. It's only got a few ingredients, like your avocado. It's got lemon juice in it. It's got, uh, um, I put uh, uh, avocado oil in it, water, salt, uh, garlic powder, and onion powder. Um, yeah. I don't like spicy. I don't do well with spicy. It doesn't sit down on my stomach, too. There's Gary. Good to see you, Gary. Here's my avocado mayonnaise. Doesn't that look good? I put the pit in here to keep it from turning brown because people suggested that in here, which is awesome. Um, this really looks good. It's, it tastes good, too. Um, it is. It is. It's very easy to make. And I'm going to post it up on my vegan Facebook page. Um because I know people are going to want to make it. It's very simple to make. Um, yeah, some people do like spicy. And it called for to make, it calls for a mason jar. I didn't have one, and I wasn't going to go buy one. I thought, well, I'll just use a glass a glass container I have and put a lid on it, put it in the refrigerator. It'll be just fine, because the mason jars are glass anyway. So I mixed it with my immersion blender. Mixed it in another container and then put it into here. Um Yes, this is going up on my YouTube channel, definitely, absolutely. I, I put all my periscopes up there. For a while, for a while, I don't know what was happening, but for a while, my periscopes were not even coming on my camera roll. I don't know what was happening, but they weren't showing up on the camera roll. Um, yep, I sure did. You're going to have to go back and see how I made it. Um, but now that they're showing up on the camera roll, I've got, I've got a few I've got to put up there. Yeah, Some I haven't even uh, got up there um, 
from yeah, the ones from yesterday, from the day before I got up there on YouTube. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to put them up there, but I'll get to them. Um, yes, my YouTube tr channel is with my is is from my name, Karen Watterson. Just go search out Karen Watterson. I looked yesterday to see how many subscribers I have, and I've got 171 subscribers for my YouTube channel. To me, that's good. That is very, very good, and I get more all the time. So people must be finding benefit to my YouTube channel because and those are people that, uh, now Erlene, that's how she found me. Erlene found me on YouTube first, and then she, and then she found me on Periscope. Um, but a lot of people that are on YouTube do not come into Periscope, and some of them don't come in as much as they used to. Um, Wow, good. I'm glad. It's, isn't it delicious? It was absolutely mm, mm, mouthwatering. Just abs just awesome. There's, like I said, there's some um, vegan meatloaf that I want to make that Erlene posted on my vegan Facebook page yesterday, and I want to make that. Oh, you found me on Forerunners? Yes, I follow him too. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, Forerunner Chronicles. Yep. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people probably found me on there too. But I've got to go back and and uh, put the stuff on YouTube that I haven't got up there yet. I've got a few I have to, you know. I don't I don't edit any of my scopes. I just put them all up there though. I just got the YouTube app and I just upload them to the YouTube app, and I just put the title in there. If the recipe's up there, I put the recipe in there, and you know that's the description, and I I upload it, and then I go and do the next one. I've got two or three of them I have to get uploaded yet, um, which is a lot of fun. I, it doesn't take very long, but I want to get them up there. But this one definitely will go up there, absolutely, because I know there's a lot of people on my YouTube channel that don't come into Periscope. And some that did come into Periscope, like Sari, Siri Carey, Sari Carey, how, how do you pronounce it? Um, she doesn't come on Periscope very often, but she does come into my, my YouTube channel, and she'll comment to my, my, my videos there. So she misses my, my, my Periscopes, but gets me on YouTube. So people can do me that, can, can find me that way. If you miss me on here, you can catch me on YouTube. I don't do you. Um, oh, that, oh, good! I got 172 now. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't do YouTube live. Um, I never have. As I'd rather come in here and, and come in here and then just post them up on YouTube afterwards. Um, I might want. I might try to do YouTube live sometime, but uh, I didn't either. I did not either until somebody in here told me that says, well, take the pit from the avocado and put it in there and it'll keep it from turning brown. I said, I did not know that. Well, see, it's been out here this whole time. I put the pit in here and it's not turned brown once. This is awesome, isn't it? You know, I learn, I learn a lot by coming in here. You guys learn from me and I learn from you. That's the way it should be. We all learn from each other because... If I don't learn from you and you don't learn from me, there's got to be something wrong. But we're always learning from me. I'm always learning. You never stop learning. Hi, Mark. Good to see you. You never stop learning. You always learn. Here's my avocado mayonnaise. Doesn't it look good? And the pit's in there to keep it from turning brown. But it looks so awesome. I know Linda said, uh, that's right. I know, I know Linda said she's never heard of av avocado mayonnaise. Probably a lot of people have it. And uh, I had not seen anything like this. Until I went on Pinterest again. I go on Pinterest every day except Sabbath, of course. And um, and then I, I was looking and I saw this because uh, I go on vegan recipes and I happened to see avocado mayo. I said, okay, let me see about what the, how this is made. And I looked at it and I printed it out and I says, oh, I'm definitely going to make this today. I says, I know I've got avocados in there and I'm going to make it. Simple to make. It's very pretty. Um, it, you can't go wrong making avocado mayo. You know what's in it. Tweak it yourself, put in what you want, and leave out what you don't. I left out the apple cider vinegar because I don't care for the taste of it anyway, so I left it completely out. Put the apple, put the lemon juice in, however, and it's still got the still got the tang because lemon juice will give it that little tangy um, consistency it needs. It's got avocado oil in it instead of uh, the olive oil, the extra virgin olive oil, and water in it and salt, sea salt. Um, yeah, it is. It is. It's real good. Yep, you're right. So it's it's um so I put three three uh tab big three tablespoons of lemon juice in here. It called for two tablespoons of uh, apple cider vinegar along with it, but I don't put that in here. So I just use the three tablespoons of lemon juice. This is tangy enough. Don't need it any tangier because we know that mayonnaise itself 
is not sweet. It's going to have a tangy taste to it. You want it to, to be good like mayonnaise. Um, and this is pretty because it's green. You know, a lot of people, it might not be pleasing to them, but that's what avocados do. Um, I know anybody can make this. If you like avocados, try it and see how you like it because I know you're going to like it. Um, it's got a good flavor. And I know I'm sure Erlene will probably try it. She's always trying, trying my recipes. And uh, I'm simply going to try more of hers too because she's put a lot of recipes on the, my, my vegan Facebook page. I have to go start going through them and see what she has and start making them. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun making recipes. It's a lot of, a lot of fun finding recipes, um, finding them and then making them. It's so much fun. A lot of them are a lot more work than others because of a lot of them take a lot of prep. This took no prep at all. Because all I do is just cut open the avocado and, and uh, dig it out with a spoon away from the peeling. Put it in my bowl or whatever, you know, and put everything else in there. And then use the immersion blender to, to make it nice and creamy. And it come out really great. Um, I, I love the immersion blender for stuff like this. Guacamole be real good for that too. You know, to get it creamy the way it needs to be. I didn't have to get my vibe mix dirty that way or my, um, my uh, food processor. But it worked really, really well. And I hope that people try this recipe and let me know how it came out. Because I'm always anxious to see how my recipes come out. Um, some that, like I said, uh, the ones that just came in here, those burgers I made yesterday, I didn't care for them. I thought I was going to like it, but I didn't like the taste of them too well. Now, Erlene said she couldn't understand that. It was good for her. But, you know, it just didn't taste as good to me as it did to her. So I said I won't make those again. I ate one, but I couldn't eat the other, so... I won't make those again, but that's the way it goes. I tried it. I tried it anyway to see if I'd like them, and I didn't really care for it. I think the chickpeas wouldn't have been there. probably would have been better, but, you know, uh, that's such as life. But, you know, chickpeas are good in a lot of things, but not in burgers. <laughs> and I don't care for black bean burgers either. But uh, anyway, I think I'm going to get off of here so I can uh, go sit down and, and start looking for more recipes for Sunday or what have you. But I won't be broadcasting tomorrow at all. Unless I broadcast towards evening because I'll be gone tomorrow pretty much all day. So, but I'm going to hold this up, show this to you the last, this will be my, my uh, final picture. So I hope that you all have a great and fantastic weekend. And until we meet again, take care. God bless. Love you all. And bye-bye.